Dahl here from Life Fitness Management. So we're going to talk a little bit about movement today. Um, what movement has the biggest effect on your metabolic machine? Would it be the exercise movement or your daily activity movement or do you have to do both? Um, so we talked about this in a class the other night we're doing here at Life Fitness Management and I thought it important to do a little bit of a video and put it out here for everyone so that we make sure everybody's on the same page and what you need to do. So exercise movement exercise activity for burning calories and getting your body stronger why do we do this well there was a couple of reasons brought up in our class and ones that we want to discuss here a little bit first of all moving heavy weights moving weights doing strength training stabilizes your joints makes your muscles stronger stabilizes your body um, increases blood flow makes your systems in your body work better because the blood flow is better to those systems um, and being strong allows you to do the things in life you want to do. So that becomes a very important one, as well as um, lean muscle mass is re directly responsible to your metabolic machine and how many calories you burn on a daily basis. And as we all know, as we get older, we have less of that and we need to maintain it as much as we can. So it's important to do those types of exercises and activity to keep that blood in the muscles so they don't become atrophy and you don't lose that metabolic effect of the muscles. Now, as well as, obviously, if we want to move far into our years, we have to be strong enough to do that. And what a lot of times we don't understand is the muscles in the body are what support that. So you have to make sure that you have a good exercise program that incorporates pushing, pulling, squatting, twisting, and getting your heart rate up into a and into a level that's going to force your cardiovascular system to work and stay healthy. Uh, that's an important one. And that's the one that most of us think about when we get into a fitness program. A lot of times we haven't been doing fitness or we wake up in the morning and see ourselves in the mirror and think, oh my gosh, I got to do something. Or a doctor tells us that we're unhealthy or something happens. We get a diagnosis that we're not happy with. <clears throat> and the fear of that <coughs> sends us into the uh, into the gym where we believe we're going to affect our health and we do and, and and that's a really important part of your health and fitness program and obviously what it's what our gym is all about but the other part of that is the non-exercise movement which in all honesty is just as important if not more important um, and that one would be reference to like for instance the amount of steps that you do in a day um, just recently, there's been a study coming out that said that you can affect your health in a positive way um, and decrease a lot of risks by 75% if you move 7,000 or more steps a day. Here at Life Fitness Management, we like you to move 10 or 12,000 steps because we're overachievers and we want people to do more. Um, but in all honesty, uh, they did a study in Stanford, um, it wasn't real long ago, where they studied people's fidgeting. Well, I'm a, I'm a mover. Obviously, you can see my hands going when I'm talking. Um, I move around. I pace while I'm on the telephone. Somebody that does that, foot tapping, those types of things, that person will burn 800 to 2,000 calories more per day than a person that sits stationary. Um, so that type of movement becomes really important when you're trying to affect your metabolic machine. But more importantly than that, Whenever we sit down with clients and we go over and we put monitors on them and we find out how much movement they're doing, and as I said, steps is the best way to go about measuring that, at least that we have, that we can consistently monitor. So what, what we have to do is we have to look at that and say, okay, the average person that comes into life fitness management is doing somewhere in the neighborhood of about 3,800 steps per day which is only half of what they recommend you do that will have the positive impact on your life. So we have to understand that and we have to move. And what I'm trying to get across to everyone here and what we've been trying to get across with our uh, metabolic machine and our lectures that we're doing on that is, it's really important to understand what is going to affect your metabolic machine in a positive way. We talked a little bit about diet, we're talking about movement in this one. And the two exercise types you've got to consider in this is your exercise activity, which is the time you spend in the gym, on the trail, in a class, those types of things. And the non-exercise, which is the movement between uh, working on a project at work and going to the bathroom and maybe going to lunch and taking an extra trip around the parking lot, um, what you do when you get home before you sit down on the couch. 
These things are extremely important to a healthy lifestyle, and you have to do both. The exercise you do in the gym with the push, pull, squat, and twist is going to make your muscles stronger and support you well into your years. The exercise you do outside of the gym, you do on 365 days a year, consistently over and over again, it's going to keep your body able to move. As we say, if you rest, you rust. Don't let your body rust. Move. Move is crucial for your metabolic machine. Thanks for listening.